Hey everyone, it's Martin here from fengineer.com. Uh, this video is going to cover um, something that I use rarely, but it's a good little technique to know if you're going to uh, just in terms of design, it's a pretty cool thing to know, right? So, this is not my campaign, uh, not my shirt, just something I found on teespring.com slash discover today. And this wallpaper I just found from um, just Google, I just Google free wallpapers. So what you can do sometimes is say if you've, you've got a shirt and it's related to, say this shirt, just for argument's sake, is related to dogs, right? So you can have a picture in the background of dogs, but um, what you don't want is you don't, you don't want people focusing on this background. So what we're going to do here is we're going to blur the background, right? And watch what happens. Um, so let's just pretend this is a background of a, of you know dogs and and stuff. And what we can do is we can go filter, blur, blur more, and we can kind of do that a few times. Filter, blur, blur more. You can press Command and B, and it'll blur for you or control and V depending on what you're on. Remember this is Photoshop. So so now what's gonna happen is you, you've got a background and it's gonna you know people are going to know that it's got to do about dogs, but they're not gonna focus on it, right? They're gonna focus on the shirt, which is what you want. You can put the shirt in the middle, um, you know, depending on where the, the background is. So again I don't use it that much, but sometimes what happens is it's very difficult to convey the to get the initial um, to initially attract someone to look at your ad for you know more than a few seconds, you, it's difficult to to do that with just a shirt. Sometimes you need to do it with an image, and this this is where this technique comes in handy. So pretty much just copy and paste um, something in the background, add the border, and and blur the actual background. So this is the you know this layer is selected when I'm blurring because I'm blurring the background of this image. We can do the same thing for another background. Say it's you know again mountains. It's a sharp. It's a pretty um, pretty good image. And if you just keep pressing Control V, oops, on the shirt, you want to be selecting that. Blah, blah, blah. Command and B, and there you go. So it gives you a cool little blurred background feel and. Um, it kind of still you can still show the shirt. It doesn't look the background doesn't look as boring as white. Although as much as I can, I do use you know just plain white background. I don't want to distract people. I just want to show them the good stuff. Hey, this is the shirt that 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 I think you know is good for you guys. Check it out. That's what I want them to ninety percent focus on. So yeah, try it out. 